Brent Kasmer here live at Everlasting Changes headquarters. Just wanted to say thank you for tuning in. Hopefully all these videos are helping you become the best trainer out there and keeping your clients safe, motivated, and you know performing the exercises at their own levels. So we're here giving you modifications. Um, I know a clients come in and like, oh man, I want to do some sit-ups so I can get some abs. Uh, and you know, you as a trainer know that's not the way to get abs. But anyways, to fulfill their satisfaction, a lot of times I will let them do crunches or sit-ups or any type of different variations of ab exercises. I'll throw that intermittently in their workout programs just to suffice their, uh, I guess, egos or whatever. But anyways, <laughs> there is a decline bench, which is, everyone knows a decline bench. So anyways, what we're gonna do is, if somebody is severely out of shape, has any type of, um, I guess, lack of ab muscles, they're not gonna be able to perform a decline sit-up. Um, so you don't want to set your clients up for failure. Uh, the best way to do it, keep your feet glued to the decline bench. You don't want to come up um, in a forceful manner where your feet and you're out of control and everything's you know, going. You're using improper muscles to do the actual exercise. So you want to breathe it out, pulling your abs in, and you know, performing it in a nice slow manner, keeping everything engaged. Um, when the client starts with us, we primarily start them on their floor unless they are an advanced client already to begin with. Um, but what we'll do is first ab exercise that I always, uh, the best one I throw out there for them is a lying leg lower, which helps keep any pressure out of their lower back. Um, you know, you're bringing your knees in, keep your hands underneath your butt and hips bring your legs up and coming down and you as a trainer are watching where their ability lies but what you don't want to see is their back come up off the mat and that's when their abs are becoming unengaged and their backs getting used instead so they're going down to a certain point of their own ability bringing those legs right back in shooting them up and just following through with that motion exhaling on the way down And just making sure their abs stay engaged and not using the lower back. Um, if they can't do that and they and you realize, okay, well this person's core is, you know, there's no muscle there at all. What you'll do is you'll start them off on the floor, one knee bent. This helps with uh, just creating leverage in their spine so that way not both knees are bent. You can, you know, have the ability to arch it, your lower back. So you'll have them bend one knee and just crunch up as far as they can until we get those abs to learn to be engaged again. Um, so this is one of the beginning ab exercises for a client that really has not worked out at all. Um, the leg lowers are second, and then you know there's many different full crunches, bicycle crunches, keeping them on the ground um, until they're able to actually perform all those properly. Um, you know, and you also the plank as well. Uh, one other exercise that I see people do all the time incorrectly is this famous ad wheel that was brought out in God knows when. I know my mom's mastered it back in the 80s. So, but anyways, um, it's the ad wheel. A couple different ways to show this is, you know, I always tell everybody it's like you're, you know, smacking your dog and it tucks its tail underneath. This exercise, what you want to do is keep your hips tucked down and in and you're rolling out and you're primarily pulling from your knees so it's almost like you're doing a knee up um, in a captain's chair uh, so all you're doing is rolling out keep your hips tucked in and pulling your knees forward and pulling back with your hips you don't want to have your butt up and out and rolling out and you don't want to use your arms primarily to do all the exercise um, so just wanted to show you a couple of those variations and until you learn the ab wheel too, a great tool And this is what I use with my clients as well because they like to use this is set up a point for them to hit With the ab wheel so that way they're not overextending and putting that pressure and possibly injuring themselves Last thing you want to do is injure your clients um, a you totally crush your um, Your uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for help me Jen <laughs> but anyways It'll crush what you know people believe in you as a trainer 
Um, credibility. Credibility. Thank you very much. So you don't want to lose your credibility as a trainer. Um, you work so hard <clears throat> for, and um, you know, obviously you want your clients to be in the safest environment possible. So thank you for tuning in. You know, check out all our other videos, and you know, you be the best trainer you can.